Alright guys, so I basically just wanted to take a look at what happened right now with James of how he missed YouTube Rewind and I have it's been so long since I haven't react to the ad once out after I did some animation before computers and then this video have already came out and now I wanted to get right into this of how he has done without making his way to 2018 YouTube Rewinds. So it seemed like that he's a little depressed. And I felt like, what the heck happened? So I'm definitely going to take a look at what it is. <laughs> Guys, I have a brilliant idea. What if we do the In My Feelings Challenge? What do you think? What's the In My Feelings Challenge? <sighs> It was that dance people did outside of their moving cars in 2018. That's stupid. <laughs> I know! It's weird to me that YouTube Rewind 2018 came out over five years ago. Well, definitely. Basically, basically I noticed here when subtracting to 2024 and then you subtracted 2018, it was just... Now, five years ago, I mean, how basically is that? But when it gets to 2025, this one is going to be turning turn to be 26 years ago from 2018. So it's definitely going to be like everybody's remembrance until 2028 is 10 years ago to get right into this. They notice about YouTube rewinds. And I basically noticed that everything has changed different. Not for this one, but everything from the year. The best YouTube Rewind series. You know that. Which makes it old enough to be something to reminisce about. There's a fresh generation of iPad kids who don't get to experience the yearly tradition of coming together as a community and watching the newest YouTube Rewind. And absolutely hating it. <laughs> oh my goodness, the kids. The kids, what do they do with you? They hate you? Oh my gosh. I mean, yeah, I mean, what's the big news with those kids? I mean, they felt like we don't really like you. We were really upset about you not joining a YouTube Rewind. Man, I think those kids are just really like rattle dolls <laughs> trying to smack on the only guy on YouTube that they made. Marshmallowy James. Man, that is kind of a bad idea. Come on, we want James to be on YouTube Rewind. I mean, sorry, I mean, there's no other option. Well, now for this year, I don't know what's going to happen. Absolutely hating it. In case you all forgot, the website YouTube.com used to make these celebratory videos showcasing all the important events and memes that had happened throughout the year. And all these YouTubers would get together and do a silly little dance and everyone had a grand old time. Oh yeah, they did. They did have a grand old time. I mean, for those of the guys who really love the YouTube channels who have already subscribed to them, they would know they would be on here. But if you don't recognize them, Maybe you just might want to like take a look at one of your YouTube channels and watch one of theirs instead of James the Odd Ones Out. So basically you're wondering why it is. And since these videos were produced by the very platform you're currently watching this on, Rewinds would always receive a lot of attention. Now, according to my memory, YouTube Rewinds were pretty well received. At first. But you see, as time went on, the general public and the YouTubers involved started to grow weary. People were throwing around words like cringe and this isn't what YouTube represents and ah, that's that. Yeah, what's that? I mean, how long is that? That's that. Or you couldn't just say about Will Smith, dang it. Ah, that's that. And it all accumulated to YouTube's magnum opus. YouTube Rewind 2018. Everyone controls Rewind. Yeah, basically, you haven't even heard of, like, Chris Sonic Guy back in 2018, but I can't just get it, you know. I couldn't help it because that all happens to me, and, you know, it doesn't really, most of it happened to everybody else who was complaining of YouTube Rewinds. I mean, they really love it, but one problem is... That most YouTubers are really are expecting, like, wh which the creator is the best. 
who's going to be our best uh, YouTuber to get right into it? And because they have a lot of people intention of. You see my last video, I just saw this views and it's like, oh my god, from being homeschooled from Heminations. Oh my gosh, that is just unbelievable. You, you would expect it that, that it would be amazing. Even in the top five videos here on my channel that done this. Well, basically, you know of uh, Sonic Guy, which of course you still love, love that before Son of Beast was even around. And with that, you now basically get the hint of what this turned to be. Publicly, everybody has a choice. Not some of you. Everybody. They have some st different talents. That's all they had. Hashtag YouTube Rewind, which is a video that was so universally hated that it holds the world record for most disliked video ever. A record it will now hold perpetually because of the whole dislike thing. The audience wasn't happy, the YouTubers involved weren't happy, until finally YouTube snapped and was like, Alright, fine, if no one wants it, we'll stop doing it! We were just doing this as a favor anyways! And so, YouTube discontinued the Rewind project indefinitely. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. So, basically now that YouTube Rewind is definitely just the most crucial, hateful, and disrespecting peoples for viewers, I mean, I know it's kind of tough to say this, but as I mentioned it before, I think the last one happened in YouTube Rewind of 2019. So that's basically just it. I can't believe it that most people are not really liking this at all. And now this year is not happening because, you know, it, they already discontinued it. And I really know that I would be really depressed about the YouTube series Rewind edition. And I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it, maybe they should recall this a YouTube Rewind series that has been the story around it. I mean, they probably want some documentaries about it. With 2018 being the last time we ever got a Rewind. What, what, what about me, James? <laughs> what are you doing in here? How dare you even consider yourself worthy of being called a Rewind 2019? A top 10 video? Really? At least 2011 had Rebecca Black hosting. Leave 2019 before I tell you the top 10 ways on how I'm gonna hurt you. So getting back to the actual last YouTube Rewind, you know, the one with the most dislikes in the whole world. If we skip to three minutes and two seconds into that video, we see- Guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. Oh geez, that's me. Oh no. Oh no. Everybody controls the rewind. Oh no. I don't know what will happen. I mean, this is bad. I know I'm a little late to the party, but since we've all had enough time to grow and reflect as people, I would like to finally share some of my thoughts and experiences working on YouTube Rewind 2018. The first thing I want to talk about is how none of the YouTubers involved got any type of monetary compensation. At least none of the ones I talked to did. This was a big issue that a lot of other YouTubers had in their expose videos, but I personally was not bothered by it. Was I getting paid in exposure? Yes. In fact, I actually lost money doing this because I had to get my friend Rush to animate some of the scenes, so I, you know, paid him for his work. But what I'm trying to tell you is that as much as I'm about to complain about YouTube Rewind, don't feel any sort of empathy for me, okay? I, I did this to myself. I think the best piece of advice I could give you is that if YouTube ever reaches out to you and is like, hey, do you want to be a part of Rewind? You should say, mm, let me read the script first. Oh, good idea. Well, basically, I know it would happen, but basically nobody even knows about me. I mean, you know... Nobody knows who's Chris Sonic guy. I mean, they basically say is that, what kind of content does he create? Because I basically don't know what he's saying. Well, most people don't get it. I mean, they they had a little bad socialing. And, and hey, let me tell you, I'm pretty bad at right in between of like getting to know each other. But that's just how hard feeling it goes when you're starting your YouTube account and then, and then create some videos where you can. I mean, I know it's just bad idea. Look, 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 listen, I, I just, I expect that I know you two, but, but let me tell you this, I have to get better at it. 
and all with the tags. But most people don't really like me. What in the world does that mean to me? Chris saw the guy. But now, Son of Beast, they love me more than Chris Sonic Guy. Yes, that's the only option. Bring it on. But I didn't know that in 2018. And I also didn't know that in 2017. If you look at YouTube Rewind 2017 and watch all the way to the end, keep going right there. Oh, that one. Okay, that's what you're looking at. All right, all right. That's the one. Now, so that's what you're basically looking at. James, the odd ones out, right all the way down to the end of the video. And that's where you basically can tell that. Right there in the credits is me and Jaden doing a floss in space. It was a lot cooler back then. <laughs> okay, I, I guess so. They also wanted all the animators to animate our characters in the middle of a jello fight. And I think they wanted to put our cartoon characters over footage of real life YouTubers in the middle of a jello fight. But they gave us no direction, and I don't think they ever filmed a scene where they were like, Okay, real life YouTubers, remember to leave that spot empty because that's where the animated guy's gonna go. Because you know they gotta plan that kind of stuff out ahead of time, right? So instead they just threw our unusable animated jello fight with Damn. no background at the very end as this extremely out of place post credit scene. Damn, I, I just, I, I have not noticed it. Looks like the animators have done this and they basically just done it all, all over it. And they basically to put it on TV and then put slimes across. I mean, oh my gosh. Dang. I don't believe it. I can't believe it that they're doing this already. But I couldn't sworn that this would have been perfectly, erratically different than the real life YouTubers who are throwing some stuff like slime or some jello. I mean, I don't know what you call them, actually. I am sorry. So 2017 was pretty uneventful for me. Like, yeah, I was in YouTube Rewind. But yeah, I know. But me, 2017 was just how a start begins. I mean, I know it was not really the day that I wanted to be that way. But I felt like 2018 would have been better. But still, nah. I felt like it was all right for me. But um, 2019, yeah, that was pretty best, I guess. I can't really say what it is now. 2020 was the worst year that I had, but the good, great, good year is I graduated, and then I just definitely stayed around until that long. 2021 was like, nope, not doing this again. 2022, it was, it was better, but 2023, however, you know what happens, it was the best year. I like 2023 more than 2016. You gotta make a note out of it. Anyway, as for James, if he was in it, can't expect it for now. But, you know, I was in the credits. Who's going to stick around and watch the credits, you know? But 2018 was going to be my year. Rewind wanted me back, and this time they were giving me a speaking role. Holy shit. <laughs> they just put the paper on it. Holy crap. I... Cannot believe that this is going to be my day. <laughs> well, I bet you would say it last. Holy crap. You know what? This is going to be my best day ever. My line was going to be, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. And then the YouTuber Swoozy, who would be in his real life human form, would say, right? And then we'd fist bump Who Framed Roger Rabbit style. So do you remember that trend in 2018 where people were doing that dance outside of their moving car? Well, apparently that was called the In My Feelings Challenge. In My Feelings Challenge. I have not heard of it before. I haven't even watched anything. The only thing I have not watched was that, you know, like, everybody does the feeling challenge on shorts. And I must say is that most people are definitely doing this in the car, but it's kind of a little dangerous for me to do that. I feel like, well, that's not going to happen with for me. But if somebody is recording it, I'll tell you what. 
Maybe somebody would definitely record it, and then I'll probably do it in the parking lot. Or I could definitely do right by the cul-de-sac. I mean, it's the circle, right, at the end of a block. But, well, I guess I couldn't sworn about that. Back in 2018, I didn't even know it was called that. I thought it was called stupid. Now, if you've at all... Why would you say that? Come on, man. I watched YouTube Rewind 2018, everyone controls rewind, hashtag YouTube Rewind. You might be wondering why after I specifically suggest we do the In My Feelings Challenge that not a single YouTuber or talk show host can be seen dancing outside of a moving vehicle. That's because YouTube didn't want to promote unsafe behavior. Yes, and basically you know that all the behaviors, guess what? They say is that YouTube says that, yeah, I think it's pretty much unsafe to do that. You know what? We're just regarding that. It's definitely not safe. You know, that's what happens. They made a guest satisfaction. They just had to put their hands down. And then it felt like, yeah, we are not going to let that happen anyway. So, yeah, that's kind of like a restricted rules. So mo most people are saying that, yeah, at most, basically they loved it. But YouTube says, no, we hate it. Disregard that. We do not want to see this anymore. So that's what happened with YouTube. And you know, basically now, guess what YouTube's going to say to me? You're not going to do a challenge, are you? No, I will never. Yeah, it's kind of unsafe to do that when on public roads and definitely around the neighborhoods. And basically, yeah, right by the beach or any location that you could have guessed. So they didn't want to show anyone dancing outside of a car. So, they weren't really doing the challenge then, were they? YouTube, if you don't want to promote unsafe behavior, don't promote the In My F***ing Feelings Challenge. Kids are still going to look up the In My Feelings Challenge and then watch multiple videos of people dancing outside of cars on YouTube. I saw that video. That's kind of like unsafe to do that. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, don't be such stupid like you did. We don't want to promote unsafe behavior. It's on your platform, dog. You know, looking back, that should have been my first red flag, but I was still optimistic. I was so excited to be a part of this huge project, and I knew there were going to be a bunch of YouTubers involved, but I was going to be one of the few animated ones. I was going to stand out. I was going to be the odd one out. Knowing how Rewind handled animation in 2017, when they asked me to be a part of 2018, I told them, hey, love the line, but I think it would be a good idea if we met in person, you know, and that way you can show me everything you're planning, and I can ask you all the right questions. And they agreed and invited me to visit the set the day they were filming Swoozie's line. Oh, that's good. That, that's very good, anyway. I, I really love to hear what you, they say about you. So now you got a feeling. So I was there, physically behind the camera, when Swoozy said, right, and then fist bumped nothing. I got to experience what it was like to be on a real film set with actors and directors and costumes and catering and makeup, and it was a lot, honestly, for just one line. I mean, all in one line. I mean, what would they say about that? Right? Oh, wait, nobody's here. Right? I'm with you. Right on. Word up. Okay, now that was DJ Beast that did it for me on the outside. And maybe it was because they had booked Swoozy for a full hour, but they had this beautiful man say, right, and then fist bump nothing no less than 50 times. It's one line, guys. I think we got it. And then after, like, take 87, my stomach sank when the director said, okay, Swoozy, how about you try saying, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. In my feelings challenge? Wait, I thought that was discontinued. That's my line. Are we changing it? Which line am I animating now? Do you want me to do both? Just like how you got Swoozy to do both? And what, oh, you'll pick your favorites? I asked the director right there, which line was I animating? And he said he was going to let me know. And then we went outside and filmed Swoozy dance in front of a brick wall and which parts of him dancing was I going to animate my guy next to? I, I would have bet that I would have bet he would have did the same thing. But what would they say now? He said he was going to let me know that too. So I Okay, I, I didn't notice. I mean, I don't know what they said about that. I took all the information I learned that day and referred it back to the other animators. 
What they wanted were two shots. They wanted five seconds of our characters dancing, and they wanted another shot of all of us sitting around a campfire singing horribly. After doing some quick math, I realized that if all seven of us animators did a five second dance, that would be 35 seconds of cartoons dancing, which for a YouTube rewind would be a lot of screen time. I had a sinking feeling that they weren't gonna be using our full five second clips. And they didn't even let me know. Now for my life changing speaking role, I had to record my line on my own, which normally wouldn't be a problem. But in late 2018, I had just moved to California and I didn't have my own setup set up. And to make the whole situation worse, I was only given one week to finish my animation and record my line. So oh, wow. you know, the clock was ticking. Now, I think the second best piece of advice I could give you is that if you're ever in need of a quick jerry-rigged sound booth, go into your closet and hide under a comforter. In fact, hello, real life human James. Oh, that, now that's why you can hear that uh, instead of like in the closet. Uh, you can hear some a little background noise going on and that's what you may not have, not have noticed. It's here coming to you on a blue Yeti inside of a bathroom. The acoustics in here are terrible. Could you imagine voicing a cartoon character in this? What? <laughs> what? 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 Wait, wait, all that worst idea. I mean, I, what was that all about? <laughs> Go back again. I want to hear it. Real life human James here coming to you on a blue Yeti inside of a bathroom. The acoustics in here are terrible. Could you imagine voicing a cartoon character <laughs> in this? <laughs> Let me hear that. Here are terrible. Could you imagine <laughs> voicing a cartoon character in this? <laughs> Terrible. Could you? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let me hear that one more time right here. Come on. Come on, man. You're coming to you on a blue Yeti inside of a bathroom. The acoustics in here are terrible. Can you imagine <laughs> voicing a cartoon character in this? No, I do not. That is just nothing. Guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. See, it doesn't work. Now, all right, and now we're here inside of our makeshift sound booth, and you can hopefully hear the quality change right away, you know. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I mean, I, I understand it now. I mean, that's a little bit different to make the line out of it. But don't try to regret this if you're hearing that echo thing, like it's in the bathroom or from outside, like it's a, there's a windy noise. I mean, try to cover up yourself if you can. But I try to turn off the fan, so basically, now you can just hear me better, right? You know? That's what happens most of the time. I mean, I get that. You know, like, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. See, you know, we, we don't need expensive sound booths to have a good time. But back in 2018, I wanted the most important line in my career to be recorded in a professional sound booth. Luckily, I was in luck. You see, California is one of the few places home to something called a YouTube space. YouTube space? I did not notice. Hmm. I did not notice that. A YouTube space advertises itself as a place to aid content creators, providing them with facilities to create content for their YouTube channels. And to access said facilities, you needed at least 10,000 subscribers. Of course you do. 10,000 subscriber is the long way to get down. I mean, but the good news is, guys, I mean, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers so I can basically monetize it like right in between my content and creations. So for those of you guys who have already subscribed, thank you very much. For those of you who haven't, please go check out my channel. And basically, I know it wasn't really hard. So I'll definitely talk to some other people who wanted to subscribe to my channel. I mean, I'll have to try to do my best at it to get right to it. A little weird they put a number on it, but I get it. I yeah, I know I get it for you. In fact, California is the worst state. Let me tell you this. My dad and I were definitely uh, talking over and I thought well, I wanted to move to California. But here's the thing. Democrats. Why would people definitely think about moving to California? I mean, listen now. Do you think I would be the next person to go to California? I thought I would do, but 
The problem is you have to pay for the sales tax. And that's why I don't want to stay in California. I just really wanted to visit. But I wanted to move to is Florida. Yeah, I basically wanted to go to Florida and move there. Once I have a good job payment, I mean, and for YouTube to get to a thousand subscribers, I mean, yeah, I'll definitely try to monetize the best work I can do. But um, basically, it's a lot of hard job to do this. So I'm not out of college yet. I'm going to have to try to like get right in around it just for real. I had just moved to California. I knew I was going to be hitting this place up all the time. When I first went to the YouTube space, I didn't call ahead or set up an appointment or anything because there wasn't an option to do so on the website, but I figured oh. they would have to help me out, right? The line I needed to record was for a YouTube rewind and you're a YouTube space. Like Susan personally asked me to be here, you know? So I drove an hour to the space, I went inside, showed them a sub count, and they said that in order to use the facilities, I had to fill out all these forms on my computer back home. But it's for you to rewind. Then I drove another hour back home and started oh, filling wow. out the forms. But by the time I got to the quizzes, I realized, huh, I think this wild goose chase is probably going to take longer than a week to resolve. Oh man, yeah, a lot of a lot of questions are resolved. I mean, for those people who have already got to 10,000 subscribers, I mean, yeah, it looks like you're going to have to do that on your own, you guys. If there's a lot of questions, I mean, do your best. And for those of you who haven't, I mean, good news, you still haven't hit the 10,000 subscribers yet. That's for sure. With time running out, I gingerly asked my new friend Aaron if I could use his setup, and he said yes, and I didn't even have to show him my sub count. I mean, I showed him anyway, though. So the Oh, why? Why would you do that? The line you hear me say in the 2018 Rewind was recorded in the Game Grumps office. Which I think means, at the very least, Game Grumps deserves to be credited in the description of Rewind. Come on, YouTube! They were the only ones who took me in when your own company turned me away. The deadline was fast approaching. I mean, it was fast approaching as soon as I got it, but I've been in crunch mode before, and I'm sure the nameless video editors were just trying to hit their impossibly tight deadlines too. I reminded myself what I was making all of these sacrifices for. Everyone was going to unanimously love this video and what it represents and look at my channel afterwards and subscribe. December 6th, 2018. A day that changed history. Oh, uh, and I've got a bad feelings with this. I mean, what was the choice now? It was raining that day, and the world was exposed to what YouTube had been cooking up. And they all collectively hated it. Like, a lot. Like, to the oh, point really? where I would be lucky if I didn't lose subscribers. I think the audience knew that none of the YouTubers involved had any say in the creative process. We were just reading our lines from YouTube script, you know? So at least I get to say I'm in the most disliked video in history, and no one's too mad at me. Right? So was all of this stress worth it? I'm not sure I would say so. I got paid in exposure, and the exposure was overwhelmingly negative. In fact, I think Rewind was only positive for one other YouTuber. Do you have any guesses? I mean, I couldn't say any guesses. I mean, I don't know. Jaden motherfucking animations pulled off the biggest prank of 2018. How would he? That, that's no way. I mean, uh, let me just go ahead and take a look at a Jaded Animator real quick. I'll try to take a second to take a look at it. Just, just, just believe, okay? All right, so, as you've seen over here, according to my Google search, Jaden Animations is one of the only people that have just realizes that this is the only one that everybody has been noticing for. And how... In the world is Jaden the only known animator but has done. He's an American YouTuber and the animator known for her story time animations. Her videos explore a variety of topics spanning from her experience to personal stories. And now she's permanently creates videos centered around video game stories. Cheese Louise. 
I've never seen like this. How that happened before with Jaden animations. James is right. How is she the only one that I have to recognize that? Well, except that it's not the same look as Rebecca, the one from Let Me Explain Studios. And speaking of which, I'm doing the next reaction and I'm going to over the other channel. Yeah, that's right, because I'm heading over to Let Me Explain Studios. She's got a good point. Anyway, forget what I mentioned right now. Let me just finish it, and then, you know, just get to the point, finish it off. I got three minutes left. Go. Pulled off the biggest prank of 2018. One of the reasons people disliked 2018's Rewind was because PewDiePie, the number one YouTuber at the time, wasn't included. Of course, yes. I mean, yeah, PewDiePie wasn't in it in 2018. I realized it before. I mean, most people are saying, where's PewDiePie? Well, the answer is not on the list for the Rewind of 2018. And some of you may be asking about PewDiePie. No, I don't watch PewDiePie's videos. But I only do is I watch some of one of the animations, like this video. And this is what I wanted to do. I mean, this is my future. I just really wanted to think of it right away. And so Jaden just mentioned that she does a lot of the work. I mean, she's overrated because everyone gives a credit to her. That's all the way I'm asking. She's overrated too. But Jaden, being the genius that she is, knew he wasn't going to be included again, so she snuck in a PewDiePie reference into her five second dance, and no one caught it, and it made the final cut. Jaden was crowned the least cringy part of Rewind, and everyone loved her, and she got a big boost in subscribers, and all I got to say to that is... Good job, Jaden. Well, big applause with that. All hail Jaden. She's overrated! Think about that. Go subscribe to Jaden Animations. I give a big shout out to her. How are you enjoying that cake and eating it too? Now, there are a lot of valid reasons why people dislike 2018's Rewind. One of them being that the video starts out with Will Smith? He's not a YouTuber. Yeah, of course he does. I mean, now he has a YouTuber. I mean, he's really asking for himself. I mean, why are you guys asking that Will Smith doesn't have a YouTube account? Really, guys? You guys are like filthy. All of you. And for some people who really don't even explain about Will Smith, he's a celebrity and he's definitely the actor. That's what I know for. Can't explain now. I mean, Will Smith overrated for the best actor. I mean, come on, people. I know, I know about Will Smith. Why is my dad thinking like, you know what? He should be apologizing for that. And he's the one that does it. No one definitely likes it. And I am definitely not approving it like he did. I'm watching you. Well, nobody cares about that. But they didn't seem to mind when 2016 started out with The Rock and 2017 started with The Colbert Show, but whatever. And I don't know if you remember what YouTube was like in 2018, but uh, it was in the news a couple of times, you know, you know, over a few small things. However, with all of that being said, I do genuinely miss YouTube Rewinds. Getting to wake up and go, wow, it's December and a new YouTube Rewind just dropped. I'm going to watch it. And then I get to see a handful of YouTubers I recognize do a dance and not recognize any of the other YouTubers. And then I get to see the rest of the internet's reaction to it. It's better than Christmas for me. Even if it's the cringiest video ever, we still all watched it together as a community. And I think that's what I miss the most when YouTube felt more like a community. As long as it's not a top 10 video, I welcome back YouTube Rewinds with open arms. And if they do make a comeback, I don't think I'd want to be a part of them. Why not? Well, most people are just gonna have to complain about this and they feel like, okay, well, I guess I don't want to be in the YouTube Rewinds and because I'm really scared of what's gonna happen. I mean, I know people are doing this. I mean, let's, let's take a chance if you can. Not because I got burned in 2018, but because I wouldn't want to rob another ignorant YouTuber of the once in a lifetime opportunity to be taken advantage of and work for free and be a part of history. Okay, I understand what you're saying, James. I, I, I agree with you. I mean, not a lot of people who wanted to do this. I mean, if there is a comeback for, for a YouTube Rewind, I mean, we'll find out what the future is.
And there you have it, folks. The YouTube Rewind that James missed. And the last one that has debuted it here for YouTube Rewind 2019. Before everything had changed. And we all know. What could the next segment be? You'll find out soon enough. For now, we just have to live with the nine rewinds we do have. But if you're like me and are just dying to see more YouTube Rewind content, and I know you are because you're still here, I've discovered a pretty massive Easter egg. In the description of Rewind 2018 is a link to see all the Easter eggs. And for your viewing pleasure are 13 brand new shorts that I can only describe as skits that were edited together with existing Rewind footage. I don't think that's what an Easter egg is. They're not that funny and are pretty hard to watch, but isn't that what Rewind's all about? I mean, I'm not pretty sure of it. I mean, I guess that might be what they're to say is. I mean, who goes better? Have a good night. Of course I would, though. And just a little bit of announcement before the end. Kiki, do you, do you love me? Are you riding? Don't you ever, ever say, because I want you. And I want you. And I want you. And I want you. And I want don't you ever, you. ever, ever, ever. Uh, okay. I don't believe what that is. I mean, I don't understand what is up with the duet thing. Hey. Oh, that's that. I don't know the rest of the words. Oh, that's that. <laughs> yeah, you guys give up. Anyway, um... For those of you who have missed the YouTube Rewinds, I know you guys are really liking this. Why well, don't watch it? Because I just really basically wanted to do is just like make my own content. I mean, all the videos I do, I just post them on YouTube or something. But in the meantime, hopefully we can get to see the comeback, live back for the YouTube Rewinds. If they still won't get enough uh, money here from YouTube for his permission to get back into it, and they may say, you know what, just forget about that. I mean, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Well, you'll definitely have to just watch the other ones, maybe the best series of it, of 2018, 2019, or a year so on. Anyways, this reaction is deserving to be a sounding successful, and I know this documentary was very, very good job of you guys, and special to the Background animators, the assets, and of course, the compos compositor. And also, shout out again to Jaden Animations. I mean, go subscribe to the Cher channel, you all. She's done the best. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all again for the next reaction of the Odd Ones Out. Until next time, peace out for a while as the... The Missing of the Wit... You... <laughs> Sorry. What was I saying? YouTube rewind dial. I missed that dial. Whatever. Okay. Alrighty, folks. This is Son of Beast, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye, everybody. Take care. And do you love me? Are you riding? And I ever should I leave when I side you. That I want to. And I need you. And I'm down for your always. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.